Yo, what's going on guys? This is Anime One back here with another video and today I'm here with another part of what if Naruto had the Jogan. So if you guys like the content in the channel, please subscribe to the channel and while you're at it, also like this video. So let's begin the video. Hey, hello, birdie. You need to get out of here. A red haired girl said as she was lying on the ground. She was about 15 years old as the f third great ninja war had already begun and uh, it was going on for two years and it was at its climax right now. Shit, what the hell are you doing? A man said as he grabbed her and started running away. You know, you could grab me more gently, Tachi. I am your girlfriend after all. The red haired girl said with a giggle as Tachi sighed, You know, we are the battle for you right now. We don't have time for this. He said as he applied chocolate to his feet and sunscreen towards safety and got the girls towards safety as well. Ah, what am I gonna do with you? Mito, he said, as he looked at his girlfriend, uh, the daughter of Kushina Uzumaki and Minato Namikaze. Mito Uzumaki Namikaze, and he, the boy, was Itachi Uchiha, the son of Fugaku Uchiha and Mikoto Uchiha. He, her, and uh, him were friends since they were childhood and had liked each other, so they, they started dating a few years back, but after hearing the demise of the Uzumaki clan, they, her, her mother was not in such a good place. Because of that, she, uh, Mito couldn't spend much time with Itachi since she was spending most of her time with her mother. As they were chatting, three more figures appeared beside them. You know, we could get a little assistance. The boy said, as he had a tuning vest on and... Uh, the girl beside him also had a tuning vest on, while the other one, who seemed like the leader, had a joining vest on. These three were Obito, Kakashi, and Rin. They were all alive, surprisingly, and Obito had unlocked his shotting gun, three Tomoe. And or Obito was probably the strongest tuning in the village, so that was that. You know, we our mission was to destroy that bridge over there. And once we do that, once the Kanabi bridge is destroyed, the export and the import, all that goes, uh, the goods, will be destroyed from the Hidden Stone. And they will have no choice but to retreat, while Minato Sensei deals with them at the front line, Itachi said. All of them nodded. Itachi and Kakashi were the only Jonins in the team. Mito was somewhat well relative to Obito in strength, but she was nowhere near him. But that was that. Itachi and Kakashi were prodigies, geniuses, so that was expect expected of them. Kakashi-san, do you have any plan? Itachi asked. Kakashi nodded. Indeed I do, but it'll take some time. Kakashi went through hand sign. This due to it takes some time to build up. The Chidori, I cannot use it since it blinds me. But this Jutsu on the other hand, he said as purple lightning started cackling around his hand, is a little weaker, but it gets the job done. It's much more versatile. We need to distract the enemy. He said, the, in front of them were at least 100 ninjas, but Itachi, Mito, Obito, and Rin smirked. They weren't afraid, especially with Itachi being there. This could be done. After a while, the Kanabi bridge were destroyed, and all the ninjas, that stone ninjas, were completely killed. S simple reason? Well, these, uh, the Konoha ranks, were not handed that easily. Only when someone was worthy did they hand it down the ranks. Kakashi and Itachi dealt most of the damage, but Mito with her chakra chains and Obito with his shotting gun and his fast speed was too much for the ninjas to handle and they were successfully able to destroy the Kanabi Ridge. In the front lines, Minato appeared in a yellow flash as he saw many of the 
uh, his comrades kneeling down as he started a uh, conversation with them. What's the status? Report immediately. He said, well, a stout thousand shinobi is trying to enter our uh, territory. It's a game garner. I think we'll lose this war, he said. Minato looked at him and smiled. Don't worry, this kunai's, he said as he threw some ceiling scrolls towards them in a puff of smoke. Several three-pronged kunai appeared. All you have to do with this is direct them towards the enemy and I'll take care of the rest. Others spoke. You can't be serious, Minato. Even for someone like you, this... Shut up, one of his comrades said. You'll see the yellow flash in action. And uh, with those words, that was the end uh, of the Third Great Ninja War. Minato Namikaze was deemed as the hero and the man who single-handedly almost ended the war. But also, uh, Kakashi and Itachi earning their name throughout this war. Kakashi being known as the man or as the purple lightning man and Itachi simply being known as Itachi Uchiha of the Sharingan. Obito and the others, well, they didn't earn much of a name since Kakashi and Itachi did most of the work when their team were sent out on a mission. Currently, Itachi and Mito were roaming around the village with uh, their hands held together. You know, it's been a long time since we been on a date, you know, since those Maki clan incidents. She said, Itachi also got a sad look on his face. Yes, but at least your brother is alive, we know that much, he said. Mito nodded, yes, I cannot wait to meet my brother, but the land, the land of rain is completely sealed off and all the nations that have been captured by the land of rain, those are also completely sealed off. The only nation that is somewhere close to that is, yes, Uzu, was recently taken back as well. Itachi said, do you, do you think my brother is doing all of this? She said. Itachi just didn't answer that question. I don't know, Mito. But all we know is those monkeys that survived are rising, and they are rising quick. The war that had happened between the great nations, they took advantage of that and uh, simply used their power to capture the small, smaller nations. And uh, I'm pretty sure you have heard about the Akatsuki. He said, Mito nodded, yes, a group of S-rank shinobis, a special force of the Rain Village, or what's known as the Western part of the shinobi world. Itachi nodded, indeed it is. The Western part, you might be wondering what that is. The five great shinobi nations are almost very much in line with each other, but there was a completely different part. That was the western part. Under the western part were many lands, the land of snow, the land of rain, the land of grass, and Taki. And along with Uzu were all under the control of the western empire. Also, the headquarters of the Western Empire was the land of rain, where everything was operating. That's all they knew. They didn't know who was the leader, but they knew that Hanzo of the Salamander was defeated. But the current leader, they had no information on him, and that was the strange thing. Why didn't they? Even someone like Jiraiya should have information. And the Third Great Ninja War had ended, so that was that. Kushina was in a room, just sitting there, doing, just looking at a photo of her son, or the one she thought he was. It had been so long, she was so devastated when she found out that Uzi was destroyed, and the, the more devastating thing was more than her clan's demise was maybe her son uh, was dead. But when she heard the news about the Moon Eye, and that Moon Eye being Naruto, who's a monkey, she was so happy that she cried the tears of happiness. But she couldn't meet him, and the reasons were obvious. 
Naruto hated Konoha that much he made it clear any Konoha shinobi that would come near him he would kill them without a second thought unless they have some kind of peace treaty they had tried to some kind of peace treaty with the land with the rain village but all had failed he was and tried to do it and try to form an alliance since he heard that the remaining Uzumakis went to the rain village but all the offers were declined it was simple and the reason was maybe because Konoha didn't come to aid Uzu when they needed him and uh, maybe that was the reason why Naruto hated Konoha so much she knew, never knew until she talked with her son and she honestly wanted to but it was so hard in the land of in the land of rain a figure was just looking over the land that he grew up in the little village that he swore to protect with his life nagato was looking over his village or at least he was a substitute kage the real Kage of the Rain Village was out for business, is what he would say. He had been out for a year for business. Nagato knew where Naruto exactly was, but he didn't tell anyone because soon enough they would get their revenge. Whatever Konoha did to them, they would pay for it and no one could stop them. The great nations would bow down to the Western Empire. That was what Naruto promised him and the Akatsuki. And Naruto never goes back on his word. Nagato knew that much. Then for the rest, that was the reason why he decided to follow Naruto. Not for the power that the boy possessed that even exceeded his, even when he had the Renegon, but the Menma Uzumaki, well, that was a wild card. Nagato suggested that both him and Naruto team up and take care of the latter, but Naruto refused to. It seemed that Naruto had a plan in mind, and uh, the only one he told about that plan was Kisame. Naruto trusted Kisame more than anyone in this entire village. Kisame was his right hand man, even Nagato wasn't his right hand man even after being probably the strongest in this village right after Naruto, but Naruto trusted Kisame more than anyone and that was obvious why. Kisame was the first one that Naruto had hired and they both shared the same ambition, the same heart, the same instincts of a killer. It was obvious why they both got along so well and why Kisame was so loyal to Naruto that he would even give up his life if it came down to it. And that was what, what Naruto seek out in his shinobis. In the Akatsuki, everyone would give up their life in order to protect Naruto, including himself. Because Naruto would bring the Western Empire to the heights never seen. He would make the great nations bow down. And uh, Nagato wanted that exact same thing. He wanted peace and uh, Naruto knew how to do it. So he would follow Naruto to the ends of the earth. A figure, two figures started walking towards him. So when do you think we'll go there? Uh, a orange hair man said, I don't know, he has sent up some letter and he said soon and to wait for the next letter and uh, when uh, he sends that letter he will send us the date and the time to begin that but uh, I didn't know specifically. Nagato said, come on side as he was beside Yahiko. You know he hasn't even told Ada and Arashi what he's up to, she said as uh, both all three of them sighed it's obvious why he hasn't told them and they will disagree with him they both are too soft as conan had a mixed look on her face it looked like she didn't ex exactly agreed uh, with naruto's plans yahiko looked at conan conan uh, we went have we already had this conversation there is simply no other way, and you know it, he said. 
Conan shook her head. It's just that I keep on wondering if really this is the only solution to peace. If this is the only way. Mass genocide. It's not something that is pleasant, Yahiko. And you know it too, Nagato. She said to the two boys who hung their heads. But a determined look was on uh, Nagato's face. I've spent uh, a whole year with Naruto and our allies that we have gathered around the elemental nation. And let me tell you, in those years I've saw things that I shouldn't have. How those monkeys are being treated around the world. And let me tell you, especially by the Shichikage and the Raikage. Those fools will go to any ends to eradicate those Uzumaki. And if you don't know, both of you already know that I am a Uzumaki myself. And uh, it pains me to see what has become of our clan. That it has come to this. It's either us or them. And let me tell you, I'll choose my nation over the entire world if that's what it needs to come to. Nagato said, both Yaiko and Conan had a depressed look on their face. They didn't want to do this, but it was the only way. In Konoha, a bl uh, red-haired man was sitting in Konoha table. He was someone who had uh, lost most of his belongings and stuff in the war that happened. And he was currently having a conversation with Mita Uzumaki. You know, Kruga-san, it's rather rude uh, when someone comes and sits next to you and not greet them. So he said with a pout. <laughs> I guess you're right. Sorry, Mita. It's just that I've been thinking a lot lately. The man said as his black eyes looked at the girl. Uh, as he gave her a small smile. Well, you can say that, but how is your treatment going? Is your chakra system or your coil is gonna heal anytime soon? She said. Naruto shook, uh, Kruger shook his head. Well, uh, not anytime soon, from what I'm guessing. That's what the doctors told me. They told me that it's gonna take some time to heal. A month or two at the most, he said. C gave a sigh of relief. Ah, that's good to hear. Well, if that's all there is to it, wait, uh, the Kruger said. As he gave her a letter, please uh, deposit this to the mailbox. Uh, I have some friends and uh, my sister that lives in uh, San that I want to contact. So that's that. He said, she gave him a nod. Very well, I'll do that for you. She said, as she started walking away, Kruger just looked at the redhead that was walking away. As then he again looked up at the sky. Why did it come to this? He thought. Then uh, he heard footsteps coming towards him. As another redhead came towards him and sat down beside him. How are you doing, Kruger? Or should I say, Naruto? He whispered the last word very carefully as Naruto, in his transformed state, looked at Menma. What do you want, Menma? Menma was a red haired boy that, uh, that who was wearing his typical Jonin vest and. Uh, black pants underneath that he was wearing a blue shirt that showed off his muscles quite well and menma was smiling at naruto well nothing much i simply want what our plans to succeed i guess that's my only wish he said naruto just looked up at the sky that's my wish too I hope everything goes as accordingly to plan. You know, you being Konoha Shinobi is rather strange. I never thought that you 
of all people, oh, would uh, betray our clan. Naruto said as he slightly glared at Menma. Menma raised up his hand in a sort of defeated position. I've already told you my reasons of leaking the information about those monkey clans. Hideouts and also where our base was located and also lowering down the barrier with the power of my Jogan. And uh, I also taught you about the Jogan, didn't I? I was the one who told you all of its abilities and how to master it. Well, I can use uh, I can use Moon Release while you can use Dark Release. So that is that. He said. Naruto simply shook his head. You're too soft, Minma. He said. And Mashiki said, I'm not a Kage like you, Naruto, but I do want my wishes to come true. I do want world peace in the most non-violent way as possible. That's all I want. Less bloodshed that will happen in the future. I just want to reduce it, just like you do. No one can understand me, Naruto, except you. That's why I trust you. That's why I want our plan to succeed, he said. Naruto looked at Menma again in his transformed state. No one could really tell because the transformation that the Jogan provided, it was like a thick layers of Genjutsu, multi-layer if you'd say. Only someone with that eye, like Menma, could actually see through the Genjutsu. Naruto shook his head, well... Is that all you came to add? Tell me, he said. Menma sighed. When are we gonna do it? He said. Naruto looked up at the sky. In two weeks. It's October 10th. Exactly when uh, I and she were born. And also the day when the first Hokage had died. It's a like sort of festival day. It will make perfect sense to do what I'm gonna do, he said, as uh, they looked at each other and gave each other a nod. Very well, if that's what you want, Naruto. Two weeks it is, he said as he got up and started walking away. Naruto looked up at the sky with that same blank look on his face. It looked like he was void of all emotions. As he got up and started walking towards the hospital, where he is currently just faking his visit. In other, in other nation, especially Kumo, the Raikage was a very cautious man, especially the fourth. The third Raikage, the father of the fourth Raikage, A had died when he was when he was defending the land that he had captured when he attacked Uzu. Uzu was under Kumo at that time, but the rest of those monkey with the land of rain forces had attacked the village and taken it back. And the man who was mostly responsible for killing his father was Naruto Zimaki. The Moon Eye and the Raikage hated that man with every single fiber of his being, and he would ensure that the man is dead. But what frightened him the most was the fact that hundred Uzumakis, somewhere around that range, had survived. That actually scared him. The reason, because Menma had told him what those Uzumakis could do, a forbidden jutsu that those monkeys could perform and that scared the Raikage, Sichikage and the Musikage. These three villages were informed by Menmo's monkeys what those monkeys were actually capable of doing. They were scared. So before those monkeys could perform that jutsu, they were completely wiped out from the face of the earth. Or at least that's what uh, they were made to believe. But Naruto Uzumaki, the boy, had ensured that the whatever was left of his people would survive and uh, go to safety. And the Raikage could not go against 
Hanzo when he got to know that those monkeys had survived because he has he was already in war with the Konoha and Suna at that time, so it would be pretty foolish to simply attack the land of hidden rain when someone like Hanzo the salamander was ruling it, so that was that. He had called for a five Kage summit for obvious reasons in a week and he hoped that it would work because if that jutsu of those monkey clan that Menma had told him about was released the whole world would be done for. He know for a fact that the Sochikage and the Mizukage would agree with him. Well, the new Mizukage, that is, Yagura, was elected as the new Mizukage just uh, at the middle of the Third Great Shinobi War. And uh, since the third, the second Mizukage had died by the hand of Nagato Uzumaki, again, one of those wretched Uzumakis, it actually sort of scared him how these Uzumakis were taking down Kages, and also Orashi Uzumaki, also known as Shadow. The man was very strong, especially he had also unlocked the ability of the fifth Uzukage, the domain expansion. And because of that ability, the man was able to kill Sakuma Hatake, the one of the pro, the man that had rivaled his, uh, the man that had rivaled Minotaur Namikaze in skill. And, and that was saying something. And not to mention, Orochimaru of the Sonin was also dead. Well, that was no surprise since he had encountered the Moon Eye, and uh, that was the end uh, of the Sonin over there. So many high class shinobi killed just by those of the Rain Village and those Maki, especially the Western Empire. It simply didn't make sense to him how a Jutsu like that could exist. But if what Minma told, told was true, then actions needed to be taken. And um, he was sure that the Sichikage, Mizukage, and he would be able to convince Minato and Raza to make an alliance and deal with the Western Empire once and for all. Meanwhile, in Konoha, Minato was sitting in his desk as he read the letter. Five Kage Summit. Huh. He thought as he closed the letter and uh, looked back at the village that he had sworn to protect with his life. He was just elected as Hokage a few days ago and uh, already he was getting his hand fold since he had to get the, the damages done. Uh, that was done to the village in the third great shinobi war fixed and also not make it seem look other nations that they were getting weak just because the war was over he had a lot of responsibility in his head and uh, the thought came to his son uh, where was naruto he had encountered naruto in this past two years and the boy had grown a lot uh, that was for sure they fought to death and surprisingly Minato had won but by only a small fraction and uh, he had speared Naruto's life and walked away but that was the most humiliating thing that he could do to Naruto spear him uh, show him mercy because if it was Naruto he wouldn't show Konoha Shinobi any mercy it was simple as that and that pissed Naruto off that day. But the current Naruto simply didn't care. He was too busy with his planning and schemes that he, he could care about petty revenge. But Minato remembered the day that his son and the look that was in his son's eyes when he looked at him. It was that of disappointment, sort of happiness. And uh, the most important hatred and rage. He had that look uh, towards all Konashinobi, 
but only towards Minato did he have the look of a little bit of sympathy. Someone that he wanted to spear, didn't want to fight. But Minato also had his job, so he did it. He fought his son and he won, but he spared his life. But that was not the order. Minato had disobeyed orders the first time in his entire life. But it was his son. He didn't have the resolve to kill his own blood. So that was that. But the Red Kage calling for a Five Kage summit. A. Minato knew that man. He had fought him and his brother several times. And that man was the only man that he could consider someone that is relative to speed. Even when Minato was pretty much fat, like blatantly much more faster than him. But the man was clearly the fastest shinobi that Minato had fought. Yeah, and that was saying something, since the man had fought many, many, many shinobis. And that was that. Minato hoped that this whole ordeal wasn't too much. He just hoped that this thing would be over soon. And the world would have peace that his sensei Jiraiya envisioned. He just hoped that was the case.